How's everyone doing? Welcome to the channel. Today is going to be another Grand Arena matchup against this gentleman, Dot Dad. He's got about 400k more GP than I've got. Um, but it looks like an interesting matchup. Actually, it was pretty good. Like, he set a pretty soft defense to start off with. Um, but yeah, definitely some um, banner bleeding teams here. So just to show you a brief overview of his roster there. Um, nothing too crazy. I think he's going for um, Galactic Legend Ray. At the bottom there's a Grievous team and an Old Republic team. And I wanted to do a bit of a warm up so I wanted to quickly get rid of that Old Republic team and make it as efficient as possible. So here we go with our resistance team. I don't have BB-8 as I put him on defense. But to start off with, I'm going to try and spread the exposers here. Um, let's knock off turn meter on Kendra's auto there. And pass that turn meter around as well. So this team is absolutely amazing in terms of efficiency. If you have 3PO on this team as well, you can pretty much utilize it without BB-8. I'm going to throw that grenade, get those exposers down and drop their turn meter a little bit. So at this point I've got so much confuse on Zalbar he's not able to taunt even when we drop that HP on Karth. So that's the great thing about having C3PO on this team. Pass that turn meter on 3PO here. Let's get some more translation stacks on Ray. And this was absolute control guys. This is uh, pretty much a perfect run against an old public team. So as long as I was able to control Zalba in this battle, that's how I got the 60 banners. And there's no mucking around here. I wanted to go straight for that Grievous team. Um, so I'm going to use my Jedi team here. It's a pretty straightforward Grievous team. I'm going to steal that stealth and spread some buffs here. Get some foresight going. So the only gear 12 on this opposing team here is the B2 Super Battle Droid. And he's got a pretty strong um, B1 and an R7 Grievous. So I'm going to go straight for that B2, get some more of that protection back on Jedi Knight Revan. Got him on the yellow there, but I'm going to pass this um, Grandmaster's, uh, Grandmaster's training onto Jolie, just to get some more survivability onto him. Get this assist onto Grievous. I went for Grievous straight away. And at this point I've got him on the yellow, get some more protection up on Grandmaster Yoda there. And this was a pretty straightforward matchup and I was quite happy with the result as I was able to get um, optimal banners against the Grievous team. And Jolie takes the last hit there. Now we're behind a Magna Taunt. But we're going to make quick work of this team. So I wanted to make sure that towards the end I got enough um, protection back. Just from Hermit Yoda's healing as well as Grandmaster Yoda's battle meditation there. Get an assist going. So I did know that um, Droidica here had... Um, damage immunity but I still kept on hitting him I just wanted to make sure I got enough banners here it's got a little bit more protection up there gonna pass this on to Basti and we're gonna throw that on to Hermit Yoda get some more heals going and we're gonna heal up Grandmaster Yoda here 
get those buffs on Jadanat Revan and spread some more battle meditation here. And it looked like that I got 60 banners there, but no, I got 59, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, usually with a solid Grievous team like that, I typically get about 55, 56 banners, so 59 is a pretty solid score. In the back line, we've got a Geo Nosian team and a Night Sister squad. In the top, we've got a First Order team, Bounty Hunter, and Separatist squad. So this guy's. Um, from the get-go just set a pretty soft defense so he's got everything on offense so it's up to me to be really efficient with this so i i've used a gas solo here against this first order team and even just from the counter attacks gas just really delivers it's an easy 63 banners there So thinking about the Night Sister and Geo squad here, um, I wasn't as efficient against this Geo squad. I was still happy with the result, as I believe I got about 67 banners. But I was hoping for just a little bit more than that. So Padme is pretty good against the Geo squad. And it's pretty relicked up as well, so I'm going to toss some turn meter around and get everyone under stealth, apart from GK. Let's get some retribution going as well. Use this AOE, get some protection up. And as soon as we can, we're going to start to hit that brood alpha. Get another dispel from Ahsoka. Now I've got 24 stacks of courage and I'm going to drop that... Um, grunt in the back. I have 26 stacks of courage here, so I'm going to use that burn and drop brood alpha. And look at that, um, spy isn't under stealth, so we can actually start hitting him as well. Towards the end here, I started losing um, sources of protection up, and I had no choice but to drop this geo team, from which I lost three banners, which should be fine. At the top here is a Night Sister squad. And just looking at the Hux leadership here, as I placed my primary first order team on defense again, looking at the stats of the Daka here, she didn't have that much health as a gear 12, so I'm willing to bet that I could do this um, with Wat Tambor fairly easily and Short Trooper, just to get that um, bit of healing up and a taunt at the beginning. So Short Trooper is taunted. I don't have to rush trying to get that back toy shield generator out. So I place the weapon tech onto Sith Trooper here. And then I'm gonna place the shield generator onto Short Trooper there. Pass that offense up and use that AOE. There won't be any revives at this point. Pass more turn meter on to Sith Trooper, get some advantage out on the field. And I almost lost um, Short Trooper here. Unfortunately, I've got him at G11 at the moment. And I'm stuck behind this zombie taunt. And that was really unfortunate that um, Sith Trooper got stunned there. As I couldn't drop Darka. And the other mistake I made was I was overzealous with this AOE here as it dropped every single one of them and I couldn't recover any of my banners. I should have gone for a basic there and just slowly beat every single Night Sister down. I probably could have recovered at least three or four banners. So sadly that wasn't as efficient as I wanted it to be. So at the top here, I was contemplating whether I wanted to use a Geo squad. However, as I use my gas solo there, I still have a Shakti um, led clones team. So in terms of banner efficiency, this is a good team to have as Shakti's um, protection recovery from both her um, 
abilities help out so much. So at this point I'm gonna look at putting one of my clones under stealth. Gonna pass that command ability onto Rex there. And even before Bosk was able to taunt, I've already dropped two of the bounty hunters there. And now I've got a chance to go after Denga before he goes under stealth and I was able to drop him fairly quickly there. And now I'm just going to try and recover as much banners as I can. Get that second ability onto Rex increase a little bit more protection but at this point I couldn't get Shakti to go next so unfortunately I couldn't get that last banner on so I got about 59 banners from that fight still pretty good towards the end here I've still got a CLS team I've still got a Geonosian team sitting in the back and I just decided to throw in Thrawn and Nihilus here Han goes first, and we just smash out Wat Tambor. I'm gonna go for Dooku here, just because he can be annoying with those counter-attacks and riposte. Brings health down fairly quickly. Get that AoE out, and it drops pretty much everyone. Drop Wampa, and I was hoping to slowly bring down this nest. However, I th it's a G12 nest, and it just didn't survive as long as I wanted it to, unfortunately. 60k damage on that basic from Han Solo gives me 58 banners. And this is probably the one of the most inefficient ship battles I've, I've done in a while. Um, just because the opposing rebel um, ships here had so many assists in this fight, as you're about to see, and I lost so much of my protection. Got a lot of target lock on the field at the moment, get some buff immunity. Looking to drop Big's Dark Lighter as quickly as I can. There he goes, and we're gonna go against this Hound's Tooth. Anakin's ship is on the yellow now, and I'm just looking to get some of that protection back. So I used Plo Koon here, spread some turn meter. And very close to dropping that Hound's Tooth. So I've put my Hound's Tooth on defense. Having it on offense probably could have given me more banners here. However, we'll see how we go. I think I'll still get a pretty decent amount of banners. So I got about 66, which is pretty good. I'm still quite happy with the result of Grand Arena today. 1,928, I'll take that. I have lost my last two battles in Grand Arena, which was fairly unfortunate. Um, the last fight, I wasn't able to calculate the speeds correctly, and I lost gas against the Darth Revan, which was quite unfortunate. Um, I've had to remod my gas team just for that sole purpose. And that's about it guys. We'll just see how well he does and thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one.